when I call, oh, why? is it true you Good morning, happy, happy. Oh, testimony Tuesdays. No, it is what terrifying Thursday. <laughs> good morning, good morning, everybody. We thank you. I'm trying to mess with Pastor Wilson because she's looking at me crazy. Like, why are you saying this? <laughs> good morning, good morning to you. We are so thankful and grateful that we are able to just come and be blessed on this happy um, Thursday. Yes, 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 yes. We invite you into our meet. Um, we are so happy. It's so grateful that God could be the lover of our souls. Yes, God is our triumph and savior. He's our faithful God. He's our refuge. He's our strength. He's our he's our performer of miracles. You know what that means? Whatever situation you're going through this morning, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You can stretch out your hands right now. Right now, and stretch out in faith and know and be at peace. And let God just fight your battles for you. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. What a pleasure it is to be here with you this morning morning is always a pleasure for we know we come and serve a faithful God I like to bring my co-host you know my name is Alban Francis for those of you who join us for the very first time you know sometimes it is difficult 
for us to you know uh, uh, remember you know everybody's name but we want you to we want to let you know that we are happy and that we are grateful that you can join us in this hour of worship good evening pastor Wilson. i mean good morning pastor Wilson. how are you doing this morning good morning pastor francis uh yes it is a thankful thursday not tuesday <laughs> I, I would never it, remember it, it i would never <laughs> remember it. it's uh morning not evening um <laughs> So I want to say good morning to everyone out there. We want to thank you for joining us here on Wake Up Ministry for this worship experience. We want to encourage you, encourage you to be digital disciples this morning and share this broadcast with someone and go ahead and be an internet evangelist. Someone needs to be encouraged. Someone needs to know that our Lord and Savior still lives. And so take that prayer tag scripture and I want you to highlight it and I want you to put it in the comment box with someone from your Facebook page mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and share that with them to encourage them. Someone needs encouragement today. Someone needs to know that we serve a risen savior. But if you're driving, what do they need to do, Pastor Francis? Let them bring in El um, Elder Wynn so he could help you do that. And he looks like he's cold than ever with that usual scarf. What? Mm. <laughs> Go ahead. What 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 did you do, Elder Wynn? I want to encourage you. Pleasant good morning, family. I want to encourage you to keep your eyes on the road. Turn your thoughts down. Yes. And do remember, you need to hear us, not to see us. More so than ever, you need to just to hear us. Because seeing us will be a distraction. Because you can see the confusion this morning is whether or not it's... Um, Tuesday or Thursday, but it's thankful Thursday. The confusion again is whether it's morning or evening, but it is morning. It's thankful Thursday morning on a very <laughs> cold winter morning. Why am I wearing a wintry hat inside the house? It was cold like it did to me yesterday. Very cold. So the, the cold is, um, I'm, I'm, I have not recovered from the coldness. And of, that's, of, and, and that's, ahead. and that scarf is the scarf you choose to give you warmth. Yeah. Yeah. This scarf now represent the ladies. Oh, it, it, Jesus. It, it, it so you know, <laughs> you know, the ladies treat me cold. The ladies treat me cold. Where's Sister Marva? Sister Marva, come on in so we can, uh, uh, you know, keep the show moving. <laughs> y'all do treat him cold. <laughs> Yo, yesterday, y'all, 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 that was icy. That was icy what you did to him yesterday. It's just icy, but he's got a good comeback because I'm seeing he's quite warm this morning. <laughs> so that's good, Elder Wing. You fall, but you don't stay down. You get up real quickly. So that's good. Let's keep going. So this oh, is whoa. up and ready to go. Whoa. All right, Ma. That was good. I don't know. All what, right, Ma. I, I just spent too much time on the phone with Pastor Wilson. I, I don't know, Ma. <laughs> what? I, I know. <laughs> All right. Come on, Elder Wind. Let's do the work. So now that we have it's just time to promote the women. You know, to have us coming real strong. So we're on the GW 105, Elder Wind. Let's get it rolling. Absolutely. Absolutely, ladies. On March 4th through the 6th. Today, today, may I remind you, today is Thursday, the 30th of December. The very, very 24 hours. Yeah, the yeah, that's 24th it. hour before the that's end it. of the year. 24 hours before you're in uh, the highest salary bracket. I, I, I don't know about you, but I, I, I believe in sacrifice. Jesus Christ is the greatest sacrifice. He showed mm -hmm. sure us what it means to be sac sacrificial. So I want, I want to encourage somebody to make a sacrifice today before we get into on. On, on Sabbath morning, Sabbath morning, the whole dynamics of your finances change for this weekend of retreat. And let mm. me tell you, 
in store for you is a weekend power pack weekend yes. one that is for restoration renewal and restoration uh and a revival did i say revival mm -hmm. Yes, revival, restoration, and renewal. You got to come out and be a part of it. March fourth through the sixth. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. You will be surprised. You think I was surprised yesterday? Oh, you. Oh, Lord, have mercy. You, but pleasingly surprised. You probably won't be as cold as me, but <laughs> you will be surprised and with a blessing, a full Amen. course blessing five course blessing that's in store for you so it's not too late but i want to encourage you to get that the low price get the the last 24 hours of the low price be a part of it march 4 36 call somebody tell somebody invite somebody and be a part of it and, and ladies do remember do remember next week next week i am waiting to be disappointed on the 5th january 5th next wednesday pastor that's six days six days from today you are to be geared up and fired up to to disappoint me because i believe i-95 still stand true from <laughs> maine to florida and somebody's telling me they are the uh, gm yeah gm gw105 um, gw a hey, godly woman you see you know yes I'm saying yes godly man. Oh, yes I, I could say gm G, um, gwm you know because i believe we're going to need some men to um, bring them up there pastor francis <laughs> i believe we're going to need a few good men you know i'm not i'm not i'm not recruiting for the marine corps um uh, uh, but i think we're going to need a few good men to to bring them up to 105 mm -hmm. but let's wait and see yeah i'm waiting i'm waiting i'm anxiously waiting to be disappointed here i am disappoint me ladies and if you're looking for the um, the portals to use to um, just make sure when you send any of your information or any owner of your finances, please identify it as a retreat so we could uh, just allocate your um, contribution um, or your registration fee. And remember, it goes up literally today is tomorrow is the last day. Um, yes. It goes up on Saturday. So please, please, it goes up to 200 and you do not want that. All right. Let's move on. And at this moment, we're going to ask um, you to let us know how we could pray for you. Let us know how we could lift you up to the Father. Please submit your request. Saturday next week, we will be moving to just a three-day system of the prayer. Why? Because it, we, we, it seems as if um, we, we, we are trying to devote more time to the Word and, and more time. And we want to be as uh, efficient as possible. We will be asking to submit your request. We just want you to know that they will not be called every day, just probably three days out of the week, which is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Fridays. Now, we also want you to know that um, the prayer tax scripture again is used to evangelize, evangelize to others. So we want you to attach your the your your loved ones, your families, your husbands, your wives. I'm telling you, do not underestimate the power of tagging somebody, especially with the scripture. Yes, you just do not know how the Holy Spirit is working. So we want you to be a, a digital um, disciple, be an internet evangelist. And we want you to just type in the person's name, mention him by name. Come on, do it right now. I'm telling you, oh, yes, it's always a pleasure to know that we can be used to do God's work. Go ahead, Sister Martha. What is the prayer tax scripture? I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. On this thankful Thursday, we have every blessing that God has given to us. We can thank God for every good thing he has done in our lives. Let us praise the Lord and let us rejoice. Let us praise him because we have joy and we sit before him now and we can just lift up our voice and praise him. Today, we face 364 days. Isn't that enough to praise God? Mm. Let us just take a moment and consider all the blessings that God has given us. Let us think of everything we can and let us just worship him for it. Let us spend moments praising him and reflecting on everything he may lay on our heart at this time. Because we serve a great God and this morning he has turned our morning into dancing. 
he has put off our sackcloth and clothed us with gladness to the end that our glory may sing praises to him and not be silent. Oh Lord, my God, we will praise you and we will worship you forever. Because when we thought we couldn't make it, you have always been there for us. Today, let us just lift up our voices and praise him. Let us lift up our voices and glorify his name because he is our father and he will never, ever let us down. I Amen. thank you. Amen. 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 You know, Pastor, I want to continue to encourage, encourage those out there. Two things. Let us know how we can pray for you because tomorrow is our two hour of prayer. And so we want to encourage you to continue to submit your prayer requests. We have prayer warriors who are wanting to intercede on your behalf. And then, like you're saying, it's so vitally important that you be a digital disciple people are going through there's loved ones that are sick um there are um people are losing their loved ones their friends colleagues so we want you to encourage them with the prayer tag scripture that lets them know that you're thinking about them amen Amen. And yesterday we couldn't call out your name because we were pressed for time. But we want to do that this morning. And we want to we want to just call out your names yet. And Pastor Wilson, it is always an honor. I think it is one of the best parts, you know, because, uh, you know, between messing up some of the names and, and just, you know, you know, seeing the little nicknames, I think it's, it's just a funny gesture. And, and I would like to call out your name. So let us know where you're from, especially if you're in a in, in a country um, you're deaf and you're and you're and you have the boldness of just typing in for the very first time, you know. So come on, let, talk to us. You know, it's the way we interact with you. And 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 I see the Caroline Prince Spencer, Pauletta Alexander, Anne Marie Thomas. Good morning to you, um, Claire Pear. Claire Pay is such a, I mean, she's one of the heavy hitters, you know, been there from the beginning. Um, Leslie Alston and Claudia Delaway, thank you so much for being with us. Um, to to Desiree Colburn, yes, good morning to you. Yes, 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 yes. Shamika Wilson, um, Toy Silami Nana, Ingrid Steels, Lydia Francis, <laughs> heavy hitter, what's up? Good morning to you, Sister Hazelwood, um, um, Sister Coslin Mitchell, all right, prayer warrior, um, Shalene Webster, um, good morning also to our dear um, Sister Laura Bell, good morning, um, um, there's somebody called um, Jared Onwanga, um, good morning to you, I hope I, I pronounce that um, the proper way. Um, good morning to you. Good morning to you. Yes, also those who are on Advent Channel, we see you on Advent Channel to um to Doctor um, uh, um Anatoly. Oh my man, thank you so much for your for your support. But we have Sister Serrant, um, Sally Prince, um, Angela Hallin, Agnes Day, um, Su uh, Suzanne Coral McCurdy. Good morning to you. Good morning, T Tia Pompey Doran Whittle Theolanos, who we saw yesterday. This is Lanos. It was good to see you. Love the hat. Uh, and, and I hope we could use those hats as a collage for the introduction for the week. Wait till you get the intro now. All now, and tomorrow, come with your hats. We want, we want to devote some time to get some poses from you guys. And we're going to make a nice collage of which is going to be the intro for the women's retreat so i am so excited yes so please ladies come with your hats on on next week wednesday and and do your pose and and do whatever it's your moment it's your moment we want to give you that afford you that time heather prince i see you um also i see sir lucita joseph mm, martha joseph beverly kelly rosalie terrence good morning to you yes 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 um sister gabriel um, uh, Anisha James, good morning to you. Um, um, Doc James, Peter James, my boy, what's up? What's up, my man? Um, um, Janice Romantal, um, Abiola Joseph, um, good morning, Sister Romantal. Bonjour to the solution. That's the solution name. I could say that name anytime. Yes, that's the solution, David. Good morning to all the solutions. Tamika Irish, good morning to you. Um, Sister. 
Oh, oh boy, Jennifer Brown, looking so lovely. Yes, sir. You, you, you sounded like a prayer warrior yesterday. Ready to pray? Come on now. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's a Lord Bingham, Alicia Bernard Halton, Gemma Charles Glenn, Corinne Richards. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, what a pleasure it is to see your names. It's an absolute pleasure. June Foster. June, I haven't seen you in a minute. Come on, June. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you for joining us, nursing man. Thank you so much for being with us. Praise the Lord. Maureen Smith and Shelly Beaton. Oh, looking forward to seeing you guys next year in March. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much for joining us. To those on Capital TV, I mean Capital City, um, Seven Adventist um, Church page, Fern Crawford and Anne Marie Schultz. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Um, what a pleasure. What an absolute privilege. To just um, worship with you this morning. Uh, yes, yes, Winey Bass, good morning, and John Lewa. Yes, um, those who are on Live Destiny TV. All right, let's Live Destiny. What's up, Eliezer, Gladys? Uh, and there's uh, some um, Arabic kind of looking names. Um, uh, I'm so sorry I can't pronounce it. I, I wish I could get a translation, but you are from Chiba and you're also from Taiwan. Oh, thank you so much for joining us and liking the page 92.3 Liberty FM. DJ Jeff Popo. Oh, yes. The voice of Sufre. Bonjour to set this year. Al Delta Boy from St. Vincent. Esther Little Pile. Good morning to you. Those who are on the St. Vincent coast and, and the radio station, which is over there. Uh, and Martinique, um, Guadeloupe, um, Dominique, Tout Saint Lucien, uh, Tout Munca Pali, Cuyolo, uh, Francais. Bonjour, bonjour, uh, I'm Petra, I'm Ilok. Good morning to you. Thank you so much for being with us. I'm Sandra Fraser. We have a Sandra there. Yes, we have two Sandras. I just want to make that very clear. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to get corrected. Um, Jed Isaac. Good morning to you. Uh, also, we we have Leon Doxon and Martha Thomas. Oh, praise the Lord, Mom, Roberta Jean um, Jean Marie. Good morning to you. Oh, look at this. We got some new folks. Um, that, oh, that's some. That's or some folks that finally saying the names. We thank you. We appreciate you, Sophia Gooding. I see you. Those on SD Worldwide Music and Sound. Tina Tina Scott. Good morning to you. Uh, what a pleasure. And those on YouTube, LNO Studio. And uh, we thank you um, for being with us. Um, Sister Liz Cooper, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, we, we want to pray right now. Um, pa Pastor Wilson, who's praying for us this morning? Good. Uh, I am going to open us in prayer this morning, Pastor. Um, have a couple of requests um, that are asking for our, our special prayer. So I'm going to go ahead and lift us up in prayer. And Pastor, I just want to say it was a pleasure to see some of the women. I mean, some of the men and women this morning who don't normally say anything on our yes. virtual platforms. They're saying good morning. They're flying yes. their flags. Yes, we want to say good morning to you and thank you again for joining us for this worship experience let us bow our heads in prayer most gracious and loving god lord we come this morning and we say thank you lord we thank you father for last night rest and this morning waking up lord we thank you because you kept us last night and lord you did not allow sickness to enter in and lord you did not allow death to come in and we say thank you lord this morning i come and i lift up every prayer warrior this morning mm. father we thank you for lord their willingness to always intercede on behalf of others so lord we ask that you would bless them and then lord we ask that you would be with um, pastor francis in a special way crown his head with wisdom and knowledge as he break the bread of life then pour out a fresh anointing of your Holy Spirit across every virtual platform this morning. That Lord, someone will ask, what is it that I must do to be saved? Lord, we thank you. We thank you for, Lord, this ministry. We thank you for all that you are doing. And Lord, we just lift every person that is under the sound of my voice this morning. Have your way. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. We are going to talk about um, why P 
people were finally afraid of you know why the church was afraid of Saul and, and today it's called Saul the prosecuting attorney okay attorney a t t o r n e y he is a prosecuting attorney remember we've been on this uh, little mini type of um, explanation of 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 Stephen's life who was the deacon never didn't train in, in the school of the Judaism but but boy oh boy who are jealous of him you you see you you, you got to be careful you know you, you got to be careful um, pastor wilson who who you who you trust you know when you when you are a gifted individual you see um um th- there was a man in in the old testament who had a gift his name was joseph he he, he received a beautiful gift from his father you know um but because um that gift was so beautiful the people around him c- couldn't handle him receiving that gift there are some people that can't handle getting what he what they envy they can't handle it and especially they believe you don't deserve it especially they believe that oh well <clears throat> you will you've you're they are older or or you or you're younger than them or you were trained and 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 they were trained and you were not trained and and they and they they want it oh yes and because of that gift they were prepared you know they didn't bury the gift they 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 buried joseph they buried joseph and 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 as we and this story has parallels to Saul Saul couldn't handle the gift <laughs> that the holy spirit bestowed on stephen he couldn't handle it he could not handle it and mind you mind you saul who, who, who i mean now when god turned his name into paul right he was the prosecuting attorney and we're gonna read what he did oh you gotta be careful sometimes when you stand up for god oh yes 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 there are people who come at you you don't understand why oh yes there's something in you that they want or they envy you gotta be careful who you have around you come on let's pray father in heaven we give you all the glory we give you all the praise stand by me i pray stand for me i pray oh dear lord may you put the right words in my mouth may your people be blessed in jesus name amen all right so we see that at acts 6 13 says they also set up false witnesses who said this man does not cease to speak blasphemous words against the holy place and the law the traditional ways of things the mosaic law and remember what was stephen saying what was stephen saying stephen was saying you know we know we 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 have to put an end um to the tyranny uh, that 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 the church laws was inflicting on people that were outcasts the poor community and we have to go- be governed by a spirit of holiness love and heavenly mindedness needs to permeate our lives and they did not want to hear that because if certain things like like being being unclean and we did all the research and we 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 we, we, we went back and and of course in, in the Levitical law you see the law of clean and unclean you couldn't you couldn't come to the church because you were not uh, you were not circumcised or 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 or, or, or you were not a, a jew you were a woman so many oppressive laws right created it or it created an environment where people were outcasts and 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 they were they couldn't and if the and, and the church just did not want to even embrace them the most recent recent uh, um need was the widowed jews the widowed um foreign jews that came and their family came to die in in jerusalem it created a lot of widows so they could so of course they got t- seven men and stephen was one of them you know but there was so much tension so so because of 
of of, of Stephen was defending and Stephen was saying, guys, we, you know, the I'm not saying to to get rid of 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 the church. I'm just saying let's have online ministry. I'm I'm, I'm not saying, and but it's the thing is not what he's saying is what they're hearing. It is what people are hearing is what you gotta be careful of because people do not hear, you know, um through or I would say an objective lens or through an objective view. They hear through their biasness, their fears, insecurities, and they project that. And that is why we have racism, you know. Well, pe- pe- people don't hear, you know, through the or through the through your, I would say, <laughs> the, the the white flag you're raising. You come in peace, but no, 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 no. They come in to fight, and and that's how the Jews heard. They they were hearing that well, that 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 Stephen wants to get rid of the organization that existed a long time ago since Moses. That's what they were hearing. And they were ready to fabricate. They were ready to lie and kill one of their own. Lord have mercy. Come on. They, they were ready to kill. You know, <laughs> when somebody is willing to kill or subject themselves to taking a life, it don't matter if it's in the name of God. No, no, no. That is not godly. Oh, remember that. So men were co-host and bribed to lie. Who co-host them? It was the church. It was a Sanhedrin. It was it was Saul. So you understand why they were terrified of Saul, um, Brother Gilbert? You understand why they were terrified of Saul? Uh, and you, you understand why um, Barnabas had to come and soften Saul? Because nobody wanted to work with Saul. <laughs> Saul, well, you know, he, oh, yeah, he was a prosecutor. And it's funny, his mentor, who, you know, was in support of guys, leave the man alone. If, 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 if it's of God, <laughs> you, you're just working against God. You can't stop God. But if it's not of God, God's going to find a way to stop it. It will not last. So let, let them be. He did not take heed to his mentor, you know, his teacher's word. And since of God, they lied about Stephen's statements, twisting the truth in much the same manner as had been done during the trial of Jesus. Speaking blasphemy against the temple, against the law, that's what they said that Stephen did. He spoke against Moses. It was the key charges. And notice the temple was mentioned before God's law. You remember? Uh, so the legalists, the, the legalists were more concerned, and there it is, with the ceremonies than with their God. You you, you, you you know because re- remember they, they didn't have to go to, to kill an animal no more and and, and 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 that was a problem for some people because they were going to lose power or they were going to lose economic influence uh, money they, they were going to lose it one way or the other now Stephen may have thought that the need for a temple had ceased tipped <laughs> he's saying that sacrificial system we don't need that no more we 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 need to go out there and 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 and, and, and install the spirit of god in their hearts so because the church is not this building where you offer sacrifice the church is in you you are the church wherever you go christ's spirit is sacrifice oh it is it is it should be a testimony throughout the world and that infuriated them not because you know they didn't believe but there was something to gain and there were so many of them that had different uh, so they looked at stephen's words from a very uh, it was a threat to them you know, yes, uh, read um, Acts 7.48. So even as Jesus had inferred in taking with him the, the woman of Samaria, which is from John 4.21, this would assail the very foundation of Judaism and would naturally arouse strong opposition in the face of such a teaching. Sadducees and Pharisees would unite in opposition because these teachings threaten their ability to to win people these teachings threaten their ability to make money these things these teachings threaten their ability to hold on to power and sense of god when somebody is ready to hold on to power they will resort to any means and yes that's what happened 
Oh, it is a sad time when the church, you know, is so focused on power. It's a sad time when people who are supposed to represent God is so focused on power that they are ready to talk bad about you. They're ready to lie about you. They're going to steal, cheat, rob, and even kill. Let me tell you something. If you could lie, trust me, you could cheat. If you could cheat, you could steal. And if you could steal, you surely will kill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yes, saints of God. So, yes, it was a problem for the Sanhedrin, which is the Jehu, the, the, the Jews that were in power. They were responsible for so much. They saw themselves losing power. Yes, saints of God. So, the punishment for blasphemy was by death by stoning, which is according to the Levitical law, Leviticus 24, 16. So, the, hinge, so the Sanhedrin now had to take action. The high priest, the most powerful Jewish of, of official allowed by Rome, led this body of 70 men given permission to deal with all things pertaining to the Jewish religion and to a certain extent. So some civil and, and judicial matters dealing with exclusively um, with local politics, they, they allowed them to do it. The Romans gave them such you know, a little bit of power, but not too much. They could ordain services, enact religious laws, and punish traitorous priests. Mount, um, sorry, treacherous priests, rebel leaders, which were our false messiahs and false, pro and false prophet. They had complete control over the temple mounts, maintaining their own police force to control crowds and enforce their will. Although Rome, however, prevented the Sanhedrin from administering capital punishment to those found guilty in their court, the consul often bribed, listen to this, they bribed the Roman officials to overlook cases when they had when they had taken action into under law into their own hands although they were not allowed to they bribe I'm talking about the church you know the church that existed the jewish church yes they were bribing people they were bribing the organization to just avoid you know because they were not allowed to punish they were allowed to at least control certain individuals but they did this by bribing the Roman officials. So on this occasion, the consul sermon, we're talking about the occasion with Stevens. The official sermon is most eloquent rising star, which is Saul, to refute the arguments of Stephen. Entering the gospel narrative, he's a, he's a, remember he's a protege, he's, a, he's, a, he's the mentee um, of Gamaliel, who, who said his famous quote, if it's of God, you cannot fail. And if it's of God, it will fail. If it's of God, you're just fighting against God. You know, remember that famous quote? It was Gamaliel who said it. All right. Saul of Tashus was present and took a leading part against Stephen. He brought the weight of eloquence and the logic of the rabbis to bear upon the case to convince the people that Stephen was preaching delusive and dangerous doctrines. But in Stephen, he met one who had a full understanding of the purpose of God in the spread of the gospel to other nations. And when says of God, and uh, the next one, you want to read Acts 7. Read the entire thing from Acts 6 to Acts 7. Oh, yes. When your boy Stephen stood up and he started to speak, you see, sense of God, when you're full of the Holy Spirit, <laughs> nothing scares you. Come on, somebody. When when you're full of the Holy Spirit, don't matter who like you, don't matter who has an ought against you, don't matter if you stand alone. Oh yes, the Holy Spirit backs you up. When the Holy Spirit is ready to back you up, you will never go bankrupt. Hey, hey, you when the Holy Spirit is ready to back you up, you will never stay in depression. You when the Holy Spirit is ready to back you up, you will never be broke. Listen to me. Because some of you are feel that oh well, being broke is no money. No, 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 no. Let me tell you money's not everything. And there's some things that money just cannot to give you money can give you happiness but i know the holy spirit can give you happiness oh yes the holy spirit when the holy spirit is ready to back you up in the face of death in the face of danger oh you could say i am not too careful to even give you respect because the only person i respect is god the three hebrew boys they stood up and said king if they think you could live forever that's their business but i'm not too careful 
um, 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 I don't care who praises you. Um, I am of, I'm already, you know, praising the one that I believe that is going to save me. And if he doesn't choose uh, to save me, if he doesn't choose uh, to grant me my wish, um, I will still be faithful. I will still praise his name. I will still give him the glory. When the Holy Spirit is ready to back you up, there's not much the world can do to you. When the Holy Spirit is in your life, there's not much a man can give you. There's not anything he can give you that will replace what already God has for you. Because there is a satisfaction. Help me, Holy Spirit. There is a content. Oh, there is something. Oh, there's nothing the world can give you when the Holy Spirit is backing you up or oh, in the face of danger oh yes Stephen stood up oh yes you, you know you should read how he died oh yes he saw her oh my goodness what a glimpse he saw her heaven oh my goodness oh it's, it is it is and I don't want to and I want to be very careful how I say this it, it, it is a dream to know that 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 you can die and you are not panicking you know there's some folks that they in jail and oh they did they, they, they panicking ready to die and oh my goodness uh, oh they didn't know what's going on <laughs> but but when when the holy spirit can give you that peace of god you know not peace with god there's a big difference you know the peace of god you know the the, the joy of god you know you know I, you know when you have peace uh, things don't rattle you the, the the things do not you know get you all you know panicking uh, but he was at peace uh, because the holy spirit was on that boy and he spoke oh he gave them a history <laughs> he gave them a history and he showed them the hypocrisy and, you know as a result of that and the spirit of prophecy you know you know allude to as a result of this God had to stop and remind Saul. Now, 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 Saul, you know, you know, if he was, you know, he, he may have had the knowledge, but he didn't have the Holy Spirit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, help me, Holy Spirit. You, you, you see, oh, you see, we, we, we want, I'm looking for somebody who wants and who's hungry for the Holy Spirit. The reason why we got folks who can't love, want to kill, who, 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 who can't forgive is because they got, they, 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 uh, and they call themselves Christians because they have the word without the Holy Spirit. The world without the Holy Spirit can turn you into a, a terrifying Christian. I think the most dangerous individuals are people who know the Word of God and want to enforce the Word of God and without no Holy Spirit. Dangerous, dangerous kind of folks. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if they're leaders, oh, praise oh my God. And if they're leaders, it makes it even worse. I would like to encourage somebody here this morning. Remember, it's all about what God fills you with. You know, we may know the Word, but without the Holy Spirit... You are a scary cat. Without the Holy Spirit, you will act out of fear. And that's what they were doing. They were in fear. If God says, Pastor Francis, online ministry is not a thing for you. And 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 or, or it has to go a different way. Hey God, it's your will. It's not mine. It's your will. I just want the Holy Spirit to give me the strength. Give me the strength. There's something some people you're not walking away from because you believe. You believe that the Holy Spirit, or you believe that 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 God wants you to continue. When when all the signs point to you just being still, well, you are, you, 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 you trying to pray for what God has already said. Oh, it's dead! It's dead! I'm trying to pray for it. Oh yes, remember that that your journey cannot start, or your new journey in 2022 you cannot start. You know, seeing new things, trying to hold on to to what God is saying. I've I've already determined this dead. Oh, and when God said it's dead, oh yeah, it's dead. It's dead. Can't give life to what God has already closed. Can't give life to what God has. But God is trying to move you to a different level. A different level in your life. There's seasons. Seasons all the time. Seasons of happiness. Seasons of pain. But it's always seasons of joy and peace. But ultimately, do you have the peace of God? Huh? That peace with Him peace of God, the happiness of God, the joy. But he wants to give that to you, but you are, you are fighting him. Oh, oh, because you believe you know more than God. 
the most dangerous type of Christian. Listen to me. The most dangerous type of Christian is people who know the word without the power of the Holy Spirit. Because the word cannot produce fruit. Listen to me. Word cannot produce no fruit. That's so what was the problem for the the Jews? That was the problem. They had the word without no fruit. What was the problem with the five foolish virgins? They had the word, but they didn't have no oil. They didn't have the Holy Spirit. Yes. You don't need no degree to get the Holy Spirit. You don't need mind to get the Holy Spirit. You don't need to be born in the church to get the Holy Spirit. But I tell you, without the Holy Spirit, there's no way. There's no way you're going to know Jesus. It's only He that can lead you. The Bible says He will lead you into all truth. <laughs> Who's that truth? Jesus. Come on now. Come on now. At this moment, we're going to call Sister Marv. Sister Marv, are you ready? Yes, I am. Our prayer request for today as follows. Bussi and Tuli, please pray for my daughter Zueli to find employment. Odette Morris, please pray for me. I have been having pain on my left and lower back. Yuli Knight, good morning. Please pray for my auntie Maureen Grant who is not feeling well. Faith Marshall, please pray for me. I will be having surgery next month. Christopher and Giandu, please pray for me, have stomach pains. Ingrid Wills, please pray for my grandson who is having chest pain at times, that God will heal him and make him well again. Please forgive him for all his sins in Jesus' precious name. Ingrid Steele, please pray for me and my family. Angela Harding, happy Thursday everyone. Blessings. Praise God for his mercy toward us. God bless you all. Please pray for my family. Theo Janos, please pray for strength for my nephew Aaron and wife whose newborn son passed away. We extend to you our sincerest condolences from the Wake Up family. Leslie, praying for God continued strength for my life and my family in the new year. Shirley Webster, Please pray for me. I am having chest pain. Lucita Joseph, please pray for me and my family for healing. Desiree Colborn, please pray for me and my family. My grandbaby Kai, pray for my daughter going on to work interview this morning. Be with her, Lord, in your holy name. Thank you. Be safe. Bless all. Leslie Alston, I'm praying for continued coverage of all prayer warriors on this platform. And Marie Thomas, please pray for my family, especially my children and my husband. Adelta Bowens, I need prayer for myself, having some pains at times. Pray that God will grant me healing. Anisha James, thank you Jesus for another 364 days continue to bless us and protect us. Claire Pierre, please continue to pray for my family, especially my daughter and her children, and my son and his kids. Please, Lord, give them wisdom and financial blessing. Anisha James, pray for her family and herself. Tina Turner Scott, good morning each and everyone. Please continue to help me pray for my family. Martha Joseph, please pray for my family for healing and a closer walk with God. Lindsay Daniel, good morning, brethren. Please pray for my children. We all need spiritual strength and to have a closer relationship with God. Pray for my siblings also. Claire Pierre, please pray for everyone infected with COVID and families affected by death and their family. Lydia Joseph, it is a privilege to wake up every morning to pray with the crew. Blessings, everyone. Laura Bell, I am asking for prayers for my daughter. She is not feeling well since yesterday. Martha Thomas, please continue to pray for my friend, Dr. Mike Augustus. Roberta Jamari, please pray for Jade Andre, my children who are frontliners. DJ Jeff Popo, good morning to you all. Keep praying for me and my children and family. 
Esther Little Pile, continue to pray for my family. Caroline Prince Spencer, requesting prayers for my community that men, women, boys, and girls would recognize the time we are living in and surrender their hearts to God. Joy Led Pine, please keep praying for me and my son and my daughter and my grandchildren and sister and the family. God bless you all. I am feeling pain in my body. Pray for me. Tamika I Tamiko Irish, good morning. Pray for me. Pray for the Mali to realize that he needs to change his ways and focus on God. Also pray for finances. Shelon Doris, please continue to pray for my children, my financial situation, co-workers and friends. Beverly Kelly, thanks everyone for your prayers. Please continue to lift me and my family up in your prayers. Please pray for my healing and for my family to have a closer walk with God. Also, please remember my nephew, Bentley. Gabriella Adolphus, please pray that I get good results from the doctor as I visit him today. Highly favored Shellyan, please pray for my family to have a closer walk with God and for restoration of good health in Jesus' mighty name. Lovely Lips Brown Hazelwood, please pray for Antigua. We had two mur murders in two mm. days. Linty Daniel, pray for God to heal whatever health problems in my body. Pauletta Alexander, good day, Pastor. Please, I am asking to pray for my family, my sisters, my brother, my co workers, and please pray for me to be a light to those who don't know God. Samantha LU5, please pray for me and my family, my children, especially my son Craig and pray for a financial blessing upon me. Laura Joseph, good morning to all. Pray for me and my family, Lorena, Loriana, Lloyd, Loriel, and Victor. These are all the requests at this time due to the interest of time. So we will pray on your behalf throughout the day. Keep submitting your requests and we ask everyone to continue holding on to god we serve a great god and whatever you are going through he will deliver you and he will see you through i thank you amen amen i want to ask if um brother gilbert could come and pray for us please good morning family it's always a blessing and um acts acts is a very interesting book two things i got the last time pastor brought this subject up act six acts six eleven then they suburn bribe which said we have heard him speak blasphemous words against moses and against god but then if you read 50 and all that sat in the council looking steadfastly on him saw his face as it had been a face of an angel. We had Joseph, we had our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. All of them are like living angels. Father in heaven, we hear the prayer requests. We come before your presence, Heavenly Father, with a humble heart. We ask in you, Father, to give us the Holy Spirit because without the Holy Spirit, we cannot do your work. The word this morning, knowing your word without the leading of the Holy Spirit is dangerous and we don't want to be in a dangerous position. So we ask him that the Holy Spirit always take charge, always take leadership of our mind and our heart so we can really be the light we're supposed to be for self and others. We know beyond a shadow of a doubt as we move through this dark world that darkness will hurt self and it will hurt others. So we ask him for that light, that Holy Spirit, to always take its position in our life. Father, you heard the prayer request, but one that touched me the most is the one that said, I pray for the light that I may be a light for the world. That's an unselfish act. That's a sacrificial act. That's a servant act. And that's the 
That's the spirit we need, the spirit of kindness, the spirit of humility, the spirit of giving and sharing. So many of us find ourselves in position because the blessing comes from above and we want to continue to ripple that blessings to others. But because of the system, the snares of this world that tend to be in place, that tend to be in place of the minds of those that tend to be controlled by this world. We pray, Father, for cleansing and restoration. All of us walk with a, with a limp. All of us walk with issues. All of us walk with a burden. And I could hear all of those burdens and pain in those prayer requests. Allow us to be patient with self. Allow us to open that Bible, read, and ask for the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Give us more faith. And as this year closes our Father, we don't like to look forward, but we hope for the best. We hope for more faith, more love, more kindness, more meekness. We thank you for all your blessings. The mere fact that I'm up. The mere fact that I'm able to share the little you store within me is a blessing. And I thank you for that, Father. I pray for this ministry. I pray for each and every one that is doing your work, that you continue to guide them. The pastoral team, the prayer warriors that have to search the scriptures. Yes, the burden can be heavy and doing good is always a challenge. Doing evil is always very simple and easy because it's in our nature. But we thank you for life. We thank you for health. And I pray that you continue to be the one leading us. This I pray in Jesus Christ's precious name, your son. Amen and amen. 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 Thank you, Brother Richard for that prayer all right sister marva you want to give us our challenge for today yes i do our challenge for today what to do when you hit rock bottom most of us have the tendency to give up when we have made it to the bottom hmm. but today i am going to share a few steps that you can follow to help you rise again focus on making small steps towards a single goal when you hit rock bottom improvement in any area of your life is welcome and small successes will help you get up to achieving something conditioning you for further progress set achievable goals reach out to other people who have walked down your same path they will encourage you and give you strength to face your journey Find your motivation. Find why should you be doing what you have set your mind to do. The reason to get up and chase that dream. Find your why. Why should you force yourself to try harder? Any effort you apply towards getting on your feet is likely to lose its momentum sooner or later if you don't decide it for yourself. Nobody wants to hit rock bottom. However, if we perceive it as an opportunity to hit reset and start things anew, it can be the beginning of a new, much more powerful period of our lives. Remember, you fall down seven times, you get up eight. Don't stay down. Don't give up. You have everything within you to succeed. A perfect example is yesterday. Elder Wind was like he was a fish out of water. But today... <laughs> He came back as a king on his throne, like he never <laughs> left, ready to carry on with his message. Let that be an example to us and let us not let rock bottom keep us at the bottom, but use it to rise to the top. I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Praise God! What a word! What a word! <laughs> Sister Mava, are you sure you want to book that? <laughs> Mercy. Just say amen. Just say amen, Elder Wayne. We gotta go. Ashley. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Before, we gotta go. <laughs> Before we go, we want you to know that we do. Uh, we appreciate. We would appreciate your support, <laughs> and let us know, of course, <laughs> or how you could support us, and and even if you can't support us financially, your 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 time, your gifts are welcome. In fact, <laughs> it it is really tremendously um, appreciate. We we will tremendously love it. If you are able to come and support us with your gifts. All right. May God bless you. May God be with you. This is the final Thursday. Tomorrow, remember, we have our two hour power of prayer. Uh, yes, which is the last Friday for the year. Yes, 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 yes. So we, we ask you to come and support, come and give your requests, and we know God is going to bless. All right. Remember, God can turn it around, and may you be blessed. Your 